The election for president is just over a month away. So with that, many Macon residents are thinking about the health of America's system of government. I'm most concerned about the state of our democracy right now. That's Macon newcomer Lynn Villard. She was sitting outside Zevings in Mercer Village. She is hoping to see more conversation on topics like health care, the environment, and other key policies as election day grows nearer. Um, I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, that it doesn't devolve into um, minor personality things and, and get away from these really crucial matters, things that matter for us. Others also see really big flaws in American democracy. 73-year-old Bob Bridges says that he really wants a president who can bring about less dysfunction in Congress. What I really like is somebody that knows how to manage the Congress, because right now we have, we have had nothing done in the last four years. Bridges wants to see term limits that bring about more talent into the legislative branch. And for him, the relationship between the person in the White House and the Congress is a key consideration when casting his ballot. You know, you can, you can elect whoever you want, but if those people don't work together, you might as well forget it. Macon residents who are registered to vote can cast their ballots November 3rd at one of Macon's 31 polling places. For the Center for Collaborative Journalism, I'm Lars Lonroth reporting from Mercer Village.